So I did a video on coconut water and cocoa powder and then I did a few others where I talked about coconut milk and so here I'm going to take a slightly different turn the evolution of how I mix these ingredients together and so I've already poured this uh, Simply Truth organic coconut water into a larger flask that I was using for measurement and this is that flask um, so I have a large I have a larger flask that I use to measure uh, the different proportions of liquids that I'm putting together and so then I'm gonna pour that out of that flask and then uh, into this one and so what I want to do is I want to add cocoa powder to it and this is pre-mixed with cocoa powder baobab and cinnamon right so the cinnamon is from Tanzania right I thank my auntie for making that possible on her recent trip to Tanzania she brought back authentic cinnamon from Africa from Tanzania and uh, it's absolutely fabulous uh, material and so I have the cocoa powder cinnamon baobab mix the baobab is a baobab powder from Tanzania so what I'm doing here is I this is the way I do coconut water now when I take the time to do so I don't do this in every case and so I let the oh this is milkadamia so this is what I'm gonna add to it right and this is, I don't get this for taste because it tastes neutral, right? If, you, if you're looking for taste, that the milkadamia is not the way to do that. Or macadamia milk is not the way to do it. If you get the organic, non-GMO, straight uh, milk of macadamia nut. But it has, what it, what it lacks in taste, it makes up for in vitamins and nutrients. And of course they say, uh, shake very well, shake very well. But what I'm doing with the cocoa powder, cinnamon, baobab powder mix is I let it sit in the coconut water for about five, maybe ten minutes because I find that that's going to be a better way for the overall powder concoction to mix. You can mix it the way I showed months ago where you just tighten a seal on the top of the uh, Contigo uh, container and shake it upside down, shake it, right? You could do it like that. And by the way, I don't use the protein powder anymore. Um, I'm done with protein powder. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't need it anymore. So um, I'm just going to stick to the coconut water and the cocoa powder, right? And then I, sometimes I might add cinnamon. I might add some other things. But principally, coconut water and cocoa powder. And so I let it sit. And by letting it sit like this, the coconut water is saturating that cocoa powder and is binding more with that it's binding more with that cocoa powder and it actually creates a better taste uh, it turns out and then what I do after I have mixed up that cocoa powder with the coconut water and you can see this is time-lapse basically and so you can see the cocoa powder getting absorbed into the coconut water then after I have it mixed because I'm gonna mix it after this then after I have it finely mixed and mixed to my satisfaction then I pour in either coconut milk maybe almond milk uh, or milkadamia, right? And I'm probably going to do this milkadamia uh, for the foreseeable future because of its health benefits. It has B12. I'm like, okay, I didn't know you can get B12 this way, but you got B12 in this milkadamia. So I can uh, address B12 to this milkadamia. But I like to uh, refrigerate the milkadamia or the almond milk or the coconut milk because I want the coconut water at room temperature that mixes best with things like cocoa powder even though I found techniques on how to do that with cold coconut water or refrigerated coconut water but it's easier but after I have it mixed right and I like to use this uh, electronic froth, uh, frother you can get them at Walmart for 10 bucks and it um, puts the finishing touches on the mixing of these elements then after I have it mixed up just the right way then I pour in the cool Milkadamia in this case, the cool milkadamia, or the cool coconut milk, or the cool almond milk. Now, out of those three I just mentioned, which is the best? Milkadamia is going to give you the most nutrition infused into your coconut water. Almond milk is decent, but coconut milk is going to enhance the flavor and the taste of the coconut water cocoa powder mix so I'm actually going to alternate between coconut milk and milkadamia 
in the future is what I'm really going to do, right? And so the refrigerated coconut milk and milkadamia is going to add a coolness, a cool temperature texture to this overall liquid. And in the case of coconut milk, it's going to add um, a, an, a, an enhancement to the flavor. And then if I want to add more nutrition to the coconut milk beyond what it naturally is infused with, then in this case, I will uh, just do milkadamia. And here I'm shaking up a little bit more because I want this like to be a highly refined uh, drink of my own making. And I do this almost every day. What you see here, I do this almost every day. And uh, on my days off, I do this a few times a day. When I'm working, obviously, I just do the shake and go uh, method, right? It's, it's handy to do that. I don't do the Ziploc bag. Uh, what? I use Ziploc. Resealable bags as a sealant uh, because I just found that if you just turn the, the, the top of that Contigo uh, lid uh, tight enough, you don't have to worry about anything uh, uh, leaking out, right? And it works perfectly fine. But I love that bubble uh, action that we have there. And I love the taste of this even more. And uh, it came out extremely well. And so I'm extremely pleased. And by the end of it, um, you know, um, that this liquid did not last. Um, you know, it's, it's gone, right? And so, yeah, um, it takes me probably less than three minutes, two minutes to go through this. Um, you know, and then that's, that's it. And, uh, but it's all, it's nourishing to the body and it's, it's absolutely vital in its, uh, 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 makeup. And so if you found this well, um, like the video or send a comment and I will catch you on the other side. Thank you.